What I have here uh, is a copy of Donald Trump's tax returns. We have his federal tax return for one year for 2005. This is a Fox News alert. NBC News is carrying out a political jihad against President Donald Trump. They released his 2005 taxes, and lo, lo and behold, well, he paid more than NBC Comcast. He paid more than Mitt Romney. He paid more than the Obamas. He paid more than Bernie Sanders. The White House putting out information on a subject that candidate Trump and President Trump flat out refused to disclose anything about, namely Donald Trump's taxes. Tonight, the White House is addressing that subject. Our Jim Acosta joins us with the very latest. Jim? Yeah. Uh, Anderson, that's right. The White House is trying to get ahead of a story that is floating out there right now. It's about to be reported uh, that uh, the President Trump back in 2005 uh, paid $38 million in taxes on $150 million in income. Uh, there's a report out there that his 2005 tax return uh, was obtained, and that's where that information is coming from. And so the White House is trying to get ahead of this story uh, because obviously the president has refused time and again to release any of his tax returns. Uh, but of course, it looks like this 2005 return is, is getting out there. We have not obtained it over here at CNN. But with reaction from the American Center for Law and Justice, Jay Sekulow, editor in chief of Life Zet, nationally syndicated radio host, Fox News contributor Laura Ingram. All right, Jay, legal side, is all of this legal? Well, no. I mean, the disclosure of tax return information or the tax return itself from, for instance, an IRS source is a violation of not only the criminal code, 7213, but also is a direct violation of the Internal Revenue Manual. I was a lawyer with the Office of Chief Counsel for the Internal Revenue Service. The IRS was our client, and we were instructed and had assigned documents that you could not disclose taxpayer information. Well, President Trump's 2005 tax return has been leaked to the press. He paid about $38 million on about $150 million in income. That's about 25% effective federal tax rate. He saw what he made, $150 million, $38 million in taxes. Didn't pay $38 million. That's but, not okay, true. but go on. How is this? $36.5 million. Okay. And now to a Fox News alert. The hits keep coming. NBC at it again. This time their cable outlet has reported what it says is President Trump's tax returns from the year 2005. The White House has responded tonight. Trace Gallagher is here with the details. Hey, Trace. And we're kind of watching Rachel Maddow as she goes on here, Tucker. And what we're learning is that she so far has revealed very little, if anything, about these taxes, saying that they were uncovered by an investigative reporter um, and that, in fact, the, the big mystery here is how these things surfaced in the first place. But why is he hiding his tax returns? Well, I think he doesn't want us to know other things. Yeah. Uh, what are the sources of income? Who is he a partner with? Does he have divided loyalties? Remember, Donald also has a long history of being very deeply involved with serious, vicious criminals, convicted felons, and in particular, a major cocaine trafficker he risked his fortune to show his loyalty to. We have obtained uh, a pretty scathing statement from the White House. They are none too pleased about this. Let me read this and put this up on screen for you. It says, you know you are desperate for ratings when you're willing to violate the law to push a story about two pages of tax returns from over a decade ago. Before being elected president, Mr. Trump was one of the most successful businessmen in the world with a responsibility to his company, his family, and his employees to pay no more tax than legally required. That being said, Mr. Trump paid $38 million even after taking into account large-scale depreciation for construction <coughs> on an income of more than $150 million, as well as paying tens of millions of dollars in other taxes, such as sales and excise taxes and unemployment, excuse me, employment taxes. And this illegally published return proves just that. Despite this substantial income figure and in tax paid, it is totally illegal to steal and publish tax returns. The dishonest media can continue to make this part of their agenda while the president will focus on his, uh, which includes tax reform that will benefit uh, all Americans. So the release of taxpayer information here, Donald Trump's taxpayer uh, information, if it came from the IRS or somebody that was formerly with the IRS, well, that is a okay, felony. Well, like, I guess it could have come from a bank, but wouldn't that be illegal too if somebody's releasing somebody's taxes? So sure, if they got it from a source and then released it knowing that, that would be a violation as well. And would there's it be a violation the by argument. NBC or would it be a violation of the person that leaked it? So I, lo I looked at that, Sean, because what NBC would assert, and Rachel Maddow did assert this, uh, that this was protected by the First Amendment. But it depends upon the way in which, if it was solicited, for instance, by the reporter, that is not protected speech. Right. So it seems kind of low to those of us who are paying more than that. But here's some perspective on this. We do a little math in the commercial break. 
President Obama in 2015 in his federal taxes paid 19.6. That's a lot less. Now, Senator Bernie Sanders, who thinks everybody ought to pay way more taxes because the rich are shafting the rest of us, what did he pay? 2014, Bernie Sanders paid an effective tax rate of 13.5. That's more than 10 percentage points lower than Trump paid in 2005. What Matt Drudge is pointing out on his website, I'll read it to you, Trump paid a higher tax rate, 25%, than MSNBC Comcast, 24%, and much higher than Obama, 19%. Um, but because nobody has had the president's taxes before, we didn't know what to expect um, when we showed this 2005 return to the White House to ask him if it's real. Uh, we sent this over to the White House tonight, and the White House responded basically with, yep. First of all, if Donald Trump paid uh, what was the equivalent, I guess, of about 25 percent in federal taxes, yeah. federal income taxes, I think he needs a better tax attorney. I mean, why is that? I mean, if I were, if I were Trump, I wouldn't be worried about this at all. Yeah. I mean, he, so he depreciated uh, his assets. He probably had some losses counted against income. This is all uh, done according to the tax law. Big deal. But Jay's right. There's, uh, there's a federal uh, criminal violation here. If, clearly, if this was done by the IRS, Clearly, if this was done by some uh, tax preparer or legal entity that helped uh, Trump's with, Trump with his taxes, but it, it sounds and it, and it seems more like this is someone burrowed into the federal bureaucracy yep. who's trying to make hay of this and trying to capture another news cycle. Uh, but I don't think it looks bad for Trump at all. What's the, what's the story? I, 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 I just I, you know, I, 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 it's I'm like 25 percent in federal taxes. That's a lot. So. Maybe there's stuff in those returns that will tell us about yeah. the Russians, about criminals he's involved with that he doesn't want us to see. So you, mail to your home, anonymously, you say. Yep. Do you think it's possible that he could have sent them to you? Oh, absolutely. With his? I, I think Donald may well have been the source of the three pages that went out last fall. Um, Donald may well have been the source of the really sleazy pornography pictures of his wife that were taken. Whoa, 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 Jessica, hang on. It, this, was, this was portrayed with breathlessness as the great conspiracy that Donald Trump in 2005 made a profit. He sold the home to the Russians. He paid $38 million in taxes. Wow, real conspiracy. But the but Russians somehow not... knew way back in, in 2005 that he'd be president in 2016 and they were buying influence then. No. They, were, they were setting this all up and we've all been influenced by the Russians. They've invaded our minds. But the amazing thing, Sean and Jay, is that these are the same folks who are always rushing to conclude that conservatives and conservative activists are conspiracy theorists and total nutbags. But I would argue that they are the real fanatics. The American people have moved on from, from all of these fake controversies. Uh, this just goes to show you, and I think this almost uh, escalates uh, the desire of many out there to obtain these tax returns. It sort of makes it the holy grail of all holy grails when it comes to covering President Trump when it's this sort of closely held secret when he doesn't want to return or, or release his tax returns uh, to this extent. Uh, I, I think it's just going to make people want to see those tax returns even more. Oh, I just think this is so interesting. Meanwhile, when the Democrats, you know, Jessica, bless your heart, sit there and keep talking about Russia, 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 and taxes, taxes, taxes. And meanwhile, President Trump is talking about jobs. He's talking about securing the border. Tommy, he's talking Donald Trump about is health talking care. about, quote, wiretapping. He's talking about conspiracy theories. I mean, this is a guy who started out as a birther. So don't make it out like we're well, all Jessica, on cloud nine here going off on just conspiracy theories. I mean, explain the no, wiretapping no, Here's the beauty of it. Okay. You know, Jessica, the beauty of it is is that he can talk about wiretapping claims and investigations, and he can also talk about jobs. And the Democrats, they can only seem to talk about one thing. So I'm really happy that we have a president that can multitask. I think it's wonderful. Bring it on. As an attorney, I will tell you that I would begin to question right away the legality of this, how they were able to obtain this. And clearly, this is another uh, political move to try to discredit the presidency of Donald Trump. So it comes as no surprise to anybody that politics is at play here. What does it all mean? I don't know. Trace Gallagher is here to figure it out. Trace?
And we just heard from the journalist who actually obtained the tax returns, the two pages. They were put into his mailbox. He thinks they might have been put there by the Trump administration. He says his big reveal is that Donald Trump paid $31 million in alternative minimum tax, which he's against. He said without that, he would have only paid like $5 million. This was a lot of hype, very little content, and the viewers did not like it. Some tweeting is Rachel Maddow filibustering her own show. Another saying, why won't Rachel Maddow release Donald Trump's tax returns? What is she hiding? Very little information coming out of those returns. <laughs> He's paid a lot more in taxes than Bernie Sanders, though. How hilarious is that?